This is the I-24 News Desk. I'm Ayman Siksek. Let's bring you this hour's top stories. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu will meet with U.S. President Donald Trump in Washington in March. That's according to an announcement from the Prime Minister's office. It comes as relations between the two leaders have tightened over the past few months, especially after Trump's recognition last month of Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. The Israeli Defense Ministry has authorized the construction of over 1,000 homes in the West Bank on Thursday. Earlier this week, Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman announced plans for the construction of about 1,200 homes and the approval of another 2,500. The largest plan passed was for 204 homes in the Ornit settlement, which is just east of the Green Line, separating Israel proper and the West Bank. The announcement comes on the back of a drive-by shooting which killed a settler in the outpost of Chabad Gilad in the West Bank. Leaders of the settler movement demanded the legalization of illegal outposts, while left-wing NGOs described it as dangerous for Israel's security. Syrian regime forces battled with jihadists in their attempt to capture a key air base in the northwestern province of Idlib on Thursday. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says Russia-backed government forces fought their way into the Abu Duhur military airport. Government fighters have seized a string of villages in the southeast of the province since launching their offensive on December 25th. Idlib province is almost entirely held by Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, who led a counterattack on Thursday, leaving 35 soldiers killed at the airport. 16 jihadists and rebels were killed as well, according to the Monitor. Europe and Iran are putting on a united front in support of the nuclear deal at talks held in Brussels as Washington considers reimposing sanctions on Tehran. The EU and the foreign ministers of Britain, Germany and France are uniting to defend the accord which placed limits on Iran's nuclear program in exchange for relaxing of punishing sanctions. President Trump has repeatedly criticized and threatened to abandon the deal. The president has until tomorrow, Friday, to decide whether to reimpose sanctions sanctions on Iran. And those were your top stories this hour from the I-24 News Desk. We'll see you back here in one hour's time. Stay with us.